Hey guys, welcome back to the Sugar Mountain Challenge. It was about time I resumed it and I was away from home racing on my bike for one week so that's why I had interrupted the sugar videos but I was still eating sugar on the bike like 500 grams per day even when I was not recording videos and my weight is still the same. I was eating a lot so that I did not uh, underperform you know on the on the race I really wanted to have a lot of energy so I ate yeah, a lot and veggies had oil during the meals so I didn't expect any weight loss because of the oil and anyway today I'm starting the sugar challenge again here is like 500 grams of sugar this is palm palm sugar coconut sugar and cane sugar together it's not my favorite but it's all right <laughs> My favorite sugar was out of stock in the supermarket, so uh, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you what I eat as real food, like fruit, veggies, starches. Let's go! Pauline Dus from Galité, the first seven dice diet rice, and she's never done anything so challenging in her life. The most she's ever done was 220 k's in one day. Yeah. That was her Doi Inthanon ride. So that was like the hardest ride she's ever done. And um, other than that, she was training like eight to ten hours a week, so doing really fuck all training, and yeah. just all of a sudden hops into the seven dice diet rice, being thrown into the deep end and. Yeah, yeah, it was quite a shock for her, quite a surprise for her. So, yeah. uh, I've done a few, a few rides of 100 or 200 kilometers, but nothing, never uh, uh, several days successfully, su successively. <laughs> In succession, yeah. <laughs> anyway, and it was my first race. 2,600 <laughs> TSS, that's fucking crazy. The biggest week in the Tour de France is like 1,800, so she really buried herself. And uh, she almost gave up after the second day. No, the, the thought crossed my mind, but I did not want to, yeah. to give up. But you were just loving that driveway that we finished on, that steep motherfucking driveway, 20% yeah. for 200 meters. <laughs> that, that was, you like celebrated when you came, when you saw that. You just came around that corner and you saw the wall, you're like, fuck yeah, I just want to sprint up this climb, and just want to smash it. Yeah, the finish line was a bit cruel. <laughs> okay, but anyway, so. The stage race is done, we've spoken about that on our respective channels. What we want to talk about is how we actually got through the stage race and, and felt good every single day and could power through yeah. from beginning to the end and could just smash it the next day again and again and again. So um, for, us, for us this is not a secret but uh, for most people it doesn't seem to be common knowledge at all because we see how little people eat and how under carb they get on the road and they just get fucked up. So what's the secret? secret? I was expecting to suffer a lot, but with our secret, then it was much more easier. Secret. Yeah. Secret. What's like, the secret? In our bottles, there was invisible food. Invisible food? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they couldn't see it, could they? No, because they, we stopped at the checkpoint just to get water and some liquid, <laughs> that's all. And phew. So we were, we were in stealth mode. No, we did not really eat at the checkpoint. Maybe just like one or two fruits and that's all. Yeah, so the secret is the secret is uh, sugar. And we were having half a kilo of sugar a day. Mm. And what does half a kilo of sugar cost? Like 50 US cents. It's, it's so nothing. fucking cheap. It's so nothing. cheap. So we had, we had white sugar. Yeah, white sugar. Um, we tried brown sugar the one day. We found brown sugar is not as good. The white sugar, it just dissolves so quickly. Yeah. And uh, obviously it's going to be like a gel if you fill up 500 grams and you, and you shake the water so hard that it mixes with the sugar once. But uh, what we do is we, we put the 500 grams in, put about 500 mils of water because that's about how much can fit with the 500 grams of sugar. Yeah. And then we don't shake it like crazy, we just shake it a little bit so it's still like a sugar water concoction and then you just refill with water and you use more of the sugar as you go along and you just keep re refilling yeah. until all the sugar is done. Because you need to have a certain amount of water with the sugar, otherwise your body cannot uh, absorb the carbohydrates so effectively. Mm. You have so, to pace the sugar. Yeah, yeah. it's got to have enough. <laughs> the water to sugar ratio must be good enough. So, mm -hmm. yeah, just keep it liquid, not not gel 
or if you're going to have gel, then you're going to drink some extra water from another source. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, sugar, sugar. sugar is the, where the power is at, man. That's like, I think if the pros just started drinking sugar water, they just go next level. They wouldn't bonk like they do. They'd just be so fucking strong. And Chris Froome would never have to get a gel from the team car. He'd just always be fucking stocked up in his bottle. Mm -hmm. So sugar water gives you the power all the way through and you can just attack every single fucking day. Our whole team did that, right? Yeah, Team Vegan was loading the sugar water. During Rider, 500 grams a day. Tomo, 500 grams a day. All of us, 500 grams a day. I mean, uh, I think if people saw us taking that one kilo bag of sugar and just pouring it into both our bottles, they would fucking lose their shit. They'd be like, <laughs> what's wrong with these crazy people? So, uh, yeah, they didn't see that. <laughs> but I actually wish they did, so I could just uh, document the reaction on the video. That would be so funny. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the secret. It's no secret, really. It's just that uh, it should be common knowledge. And uh, I really wish this whole sugar phobic society would uh, come to an end and there wouldn't be all this bullshit on the media about sugar and saying fat is the fucking ultimate fuel because it isn't. Because when you eat fat, you're just going to feel exhausted and worn out because it's so inefficient for your body to convert it to usable fuel in the moment. So, yeah, fuck fat, skin on the sugar. And look at us, man, we're still fucking lean. Sugar is the best. And we, we, haven't, we haven't even hopped on our bikes for it's been three days now. We haven't touched our bikes. We haven't even commuted around the city and we've been eating 5,000 calories a day. Yeah. 5,000 motherfucking calories a day. This thing, lean. Yeah. Lean. Lean, lean motherfucker. Sugar's the best. No, sugar's a drug, eh? Because if you try and sell it on the street. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah you're going to get locked up. <laughs> Call from Skittles. Hello. Vegan candies. Oh nice, they got them in a big packet too. <laughs> Decided to skip the candy and just went for the rock sugar. Yeah. I need to buy sugar for tomorrow because sugar more mountain every day. Tomorrow I have this one. Good stuff, brown sugar. Yeah. Powdered brown sugar. 